A hunter goes looking for trouble and finds it. An angry buck kicks the hunter, knocking his bow out of his hands, then drives the man into the ground, while his wife continues to shoot the video. He pounded me down onto the ground, and, and then he really stomped my tail, you know. Rosemary and Lynn Chestnut of Toledo, Washington, have been married for 41 years and have always loved hunting. It's a family affair for the Chestnuts. We really enjoyed going out together and hunting, and um, I enjoyed getting my first deer and my first elk with my husband. I just got to come in my blood, I guess, whether I kill them or not. It's, it's, it's fun just bugling them in, getting them up close, or, see, or getting close enough to them that I can maybe even jump on them. And to liven things up one day, they decide to make a video, up close and personal, with an elk. I had this brainstorm idea that I wanted to get an elk charge. You know, and that's before I knew really how strong, how fast they were. And I was going to stay away from it. Well, he thought but also that it'd make great videos for his hunting buddies to see, you know? Well, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> that was the main purpose of doing this. <laughs> It took him two weeks to talk me into going out there, though. <laughs> Just as he does here, Lynn put on his camouflage, grabs his bow, and then does something hunters often do. He sprays himself with elk urine. This is the elk urine that I used, and it's pretty strong. And on, the other, on the other side of here, it's got uh, danger. Uh, do not use on your body. Could, could call it, provoke an attack. And then sometimes, I actually sometimes would uh, spray it in my mouth. <coughs> it kind of, it tastes, it tastes pretty bad, but they can actually smell your breath for five miles away. Rosemary grabs the camera and they head out to the woods. Lynn deployed his best elk calls. Still, after two hours of waiting and baiting, no luck. But just as the chestnuts are about to pack it in, Rosemary hears a bizarre rustling in the bushes. It's not an elk. Instead, it's a white-tailed buck, ready for a fight. When he first came up on me like that, you know, on his hind legs and stuff, I thought I could hold him off with a bow and arrow. And, man, he took that sucker right out of my hand. I mean, just... I mean, the power I felt from the blow was unbelievable. The buck takes off after Lynn, rises up on his hind legs, and starts kicking him over and over. At first, I was thinking, man, great videos, you know. But in a few seconds, you know, he had me really wore out. I mean, as, yeah, almost to the point where you couldn't lift your arms to protect my face. It looks as if the deer is fighting on behalf of every critter ever shot by a hunter. I kind of think of it as like Bambi's Revenge, you know, for the deer I had got. They, they finally got even with me, you know. As for Rosemary, she's still videotaping. And here I am with camera in hand, and I'm scared to death, and I just knew I was taking pictures of my husband being killed, you know, at any minute or any second. And when that deer started clobbering him off, especially hitting him on the head and stuff, that's when I thought, you know, he was it was going to be a bad story. Lynn makes a desperate move to try and grab the deer by the antlers and wrestle him to the ground like a bull. But Lynn's not strong enough to control the buck. Now you don't think a little deer like that could have that much power. And so then I tried to defend myself, you know, get away from him. And there was no getting away from him. He was pretty insistent. Finally, the fighting stops. Lynn heads for the trees. Then he did a really weird thing. He walked by, he turned his butt to me, lifted his tail, and with his mouth, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> you know. They got their video, but the stunt has left Lynn bruised and bloody. These are the pants that I was wearing that day. And you can see they tore them up pretty good. As for the deer, the chestnuts never saw them again. I guess people do do stupid things, you know. And uh, it probably was kind of dumb, but I don't regret it.